Hello everyone, it's me Talha again and today I'm gonna talk about the rest of the topic that is basically activation energy and how to calculate energy change. Now, you have noticed in both of the previous energy profile diagrams that there is something called activation energy. So, what's that? An activation energy is basically the minimum amount of energy needed for a reaction to occur. So we know that the molecules are dormant, they need some energy or some push to initiate their reaction. And that energy is known as activation energy. Now, the formula for calculating enthalpy change is bone energy of reactant minus bone energy of product. Or in other words, we can say left hand side minus right hand side. For calculating enthalpy change, you will be given a energy table where it will be mentioned how much energy each bond holds. When we calculate enthalpy change, we calculate for one mole. So all the values in the table is given for one mole. Now let's look at this example. The question is, hydrogen and chlorine react to form hydrogen fluoride gas. The formula is H2 plus Cl2 gives us two HCl and use the bond energies to determine whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. So let's move on to the answer. Uh, here are some values are given like 436, 243, uh, 243 and 432. These values are for bond energy and we don't have to memorize these energy, uh, energies or values because this will be given to us in a table and at first we have to calculate energy in and basically these are the reactant side energy because in reactant side the reaction occurs is endothermic so energy in is 436 plus 243 436 is for h and h bond and 243 is for CL and CL bond. So it will give us a value of 679 kilojoule per mole. So the energy in is 679 kilojoule per mole. And energy out, we can see here the value 432 is multiplied by 2. Why are we multiplying this value with 2? Because here, 2 mole of HCl is being formed and I have said already that we calculate the values in the bond energy table is for 1 mole. So we have to multiply 432 with 2 and this 432 is for the bond HCl and it will give us 864 kilojoule per mole and this value represent energy out. So finally, if we want to calculate the total total enthalpy change, we just simply subtract energy in with energy out. So the energy change is 679 minus 864. That is basically minus 185 kilojoule per mole. The energy change here shows a negative sign. That means the energy is released to the surrounding. So it is an exothermic reaction. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to conclude this topic here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share the video if it was helpful. If you have any questions regarding this topic, do ask me in the comment section. Thank you.